So to reset pin UPI pin in Beam UPI application, all you have to do is you have to open the application first. You have to enter the passcode and you have to complete the login process. So once the application is completely started, this is the kind of basic interface you will be able to see on your mobile screen. So if you want to change your UPI pin in Beam UPI application, all you have to do is you have to select the bank account option, which is visible at the top. So you have to select that bank option. Now we are directly on the next page. Now you can see I have added three of my bank account in uh, Beam UPI application. So one is actually uh, Beam UPI Lite, which is another version, uh, which is another feature, which is added in the Beam UPI application. Uh, I'll talk about it later or I'll make, I'll try to make a video on this later. So yeah, uh, let's get back to the UPI change thing. So as you can see, I have two of my bank account here. One is Kotak bank and one is Indescent bank. Now, for example, if I don't remember my UPI pin of Kotak bank account, then I have to select that particular bank over here. I have to just tap on it. And after that, I'll get multiple options, which is send money, send to self, forgot UPI pin, change UPI pin, refresh and all. So to change UPI pin, I have to click on forgot UPI pin. So uh, there are two ways actually to change the UPI pin. One is change UPI pin. So this step is for those people who remember their, uh, their current UPI pin, but still they want to change it and forgot UPI pin. This step is for those people who don't remember their UPI pin, but they want to change it. So all you have to do is if you don't remember your UPI pin, you have to click on forgot UPI pin option. On the next page, it will ask you to enter the card details of your selected bank. And once you enter the details, it will take you to the next page. So I'll enter the details very quickly and I will show you. So I have entered the card details. Now simply I have to click on this tick mark sign at the bottom. And as soon as I click on the tick mark sign, it will take me to the next page. So I have to wait. So now it is asking me to enter the six digit OTP, which I will be receiving on my registered mobile number. So once you receive the OTP, enter it and just click on this tick mark sign. So as you can see, I have entered the OTP, just click on this tick mark sign and as soon as you click on this tick mark sign, we will be on the next page. Now you can see we get an option of set six digit UPI pin. So you have to enter the new pin over here and then you have to click on once again on this tick mark sign. I've entered the new UPI pin. I will be clicking on this tick mark sign. Now on the next page, it is asking me to re-enter or to confirm the new pin. And then once again, click on tick mark. So you have to enter the new pin once again. So I have re-entered the new pin. Now I will be clicking on this tick mark sign. Now it will take some time to reset it. Now you can see UPI pin reset done successfully. And by following these uh, simple steps, guys, I have easily changed the UPI pin in Beam UPI application. Now you have to follow the same step if you don't remember your UPI pin. So that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. If you like this video, hit that like button, share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.